Okay, thanks everyone for jumping in today. I apologize for the mess up of the calendar stuff. I'm still figuring out how to invite 300 people to the calendar. And it seems like Shannon was a huge help on uh, creating this Google group thing. So now I can actually add uh, one email and it will invite everyone, except I think it still uses the limits. So I tried it from my main email and it didn't let me do that. So I may uh, start asking some random people out of the group just to create an invite for tomorrow and invite one person, uh, this um, Google group, as an intermediary solution. But let's see what happens. So today, and I, let me pull up the agenda. Uh, there are a couple of things that I wanted to bring to your attention. Um, number one thing that I put uh, here at the top is uh, called Saving Brandon Mission. And uh, it, it came to my attention that Brandon is actually overloaded with the NLP kind of foundation uh, part of the tasks. And he's doing a lot of uh, things that could be uh, unbundled and transformed into granular tasks. I had a call today that I shared in the NLP stack channel, and hopefully that will uh, kickstart the discussion. But if you have NLP skills and you can help transform that you know, giant scope of work that Brendan is doing into actionable tasks, please join NLP stack and uh, free up Brendan. So the, the current blockers and how to make progress within individual tasks. I feel like we're, we're doing amazing progress on the scope uh, of work level for the tasks. I'm working with uh, Maya to create more structure that other teams can use in terms of um, shaping the, the main notebook for it. I still haven't had a chance to connect with uh, Dan Sosa in terms of bridging uh, the high level with the technical uh, GitHub uh, part of the process, but hopefully I'll, I'll have more time to do that today. So let's just go ahead and uh, start the team reporting. I'm gonna quickly remind the, the structure. High level progress, quick summary. Time to results, how soon can you show existing progress externally? And what type of blockers you have? What do you need help with? So let's go ahead and start with Maya, risk factors task. Hi, everybody. Um, uh, we, we are doing really, we, we, we a little bit slowed down because now we are on NLP, on NL, and NLP tasks uh, that require some attention uh, to details. We've got an amazing thing from Kriti today. Kriti is the star of the day, basically. And uh, he extracted uh, sentences from papers discussing uh, temperature. And from that papers on, um, vir it's not just uh, uh, coronavirus 19, it's also other previous uh, viruses, but we can clearly see that many papers discuss the correlation between temperature and humidity. And uh, as the spread and uh, uh, degree of complications of the virus. Uh, now it's narrowed down to 400 rows, and uh, uh, we still need to clean out the uh, temperatures that is related to body temperature. Uh, it's not exactly the perfectly clean list, but from here we can go to the papers. Uh, review the papers and probably uh, even draft the, uh, the first uh, notes uh, on uh, conclusions and support it with uh, quantitative um, uh, quantitative uh, research because we have temperature from a geo, uh, geo task team. We have database. So it, it might will take more time than I initially planned. It might be a few more days from now, even though I thought like tomorrow it will be done. No, not really. And uh, if you can advise me on how to proceed from these 400 rows, let's say, in a more efficient and less human uh, uh, involvement uh, way, um, I would really appreciate that because kind of processing it all manually. It's not gonna take me long. Reading papers, not gonna take me long. 
but still it's a hack of, uh, of a work and maybe it can be somehow reduced uh, by some uh, technical involvement. Sounds great. Uh, let's proceed to the next task, uh, Geotask, Daniel. Right, so um, as Maya mentioned, they have some preliminary result about um, impacts of temperature. I mean, active discussion with Maya and when they'll have narrowed down the selection, then we'll start um, discussing how to set up some possible quantitative analysis. We are making good progress in the um, finalization of a, a few additional data sets. So um, US um, um, granular contagion data. We have uh, granular contagion data in Italy. Um, we also have another one, but now it, uh, it's, I have, well, I, I mean, I, a few data sets that we're bringing to productive level. Yeah, Manuel, uh, you have the... Yes, uh, that we, the data set that is missing is the US census data. Oh, yes, thank you, yes. So, um, US census data that will give us, for example, population density in uh, various areas, uh, possibly, so hopefully age distribution, um, sex distribution in the US at a small enough granularity to be very useful, hopefully. And uh, we are working on how to automate the dump to um, the Kaggle repository. But I had a discussion with Mark today about maybe the possibility to have another place to put um, the data that's more um, that's more adapted for this kind of data that gives the um, a digital ob object identifier and so it makes it citable as well so but uh, this is still in the works so we'll see how it progresses in the next uh, few days sounds good any blockers um i would say right now we are doing fine also for um uh, for brandon i will discuss i have a couple of people with a bit of nlp experience in my team they're focusing mostly on on geotask but i can ask them um, if they can talk with Brandon and see if there's, you know, some small tasks that they can take on. Sounds good. The next task, uh, transmission task, Christine. Hi. Um, so, yeah, we still have like multiple uh, efforts going on in parallel. Uh, so some are working on the just refining uh, the search results and some are uh, Kind of exploring the, I mean, how to, we also kind of started in contact with uh, people working on NLP and to see if we can uh, get some meta information for data. Um, and yeah, and we had I got a co collaboration with the GEO team. Uh, we haven't really started yet. I think it, on their end, they have started to collect more data. Um, uh, yeah, but we have some references on the analysis, but we are we haven't started that yet. Sounds great. That sounds great. Do you have any blockers? Well, so far it's just um, I think it just was not really, but just need time to get stuff together. I think. Sounds good. Next task: vaccines. Dan Sosa. Hey guys, um, so yesterday we were mostly focused on recruitment and I see a couple of our new members are here in the call, so hello you guys. Uh, we still need to do some more recruitment. Our team is still pretty small and there's only been really a couple of active members, so we're going to just continue to uh, get more hands on. Uh, a couple, uh, there's some efforts now starting on doing relation extraction. Um, aside from just drug treatment, so that's going to be helpful later when we think about like drug mechanisms. Also, I think probably in the next day or two, I suspect we should have a good list of like all the drugs people are considering for being repurposed to treat uh, coronavirus and associated complications. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm, now we need to start thinking about the different kinds of evidence that exists in papers. And this is a similar effort to what uh, Christine has been mentioning. So I'm hoping to reach out to her today and kind of join forces on that maybe get some people doing machine learning on board to help figure out 
how we can make annotations there, and again, just kind of recruit annotators to uh, label papers essentially based on the types of evidence that are there. Sounds so just good. syncing up, syncing up that effort. And yeah, it sounds like you guys are actually in the most need of the uh, medical input, right? So if there are any medical experts that uh, can jump in and help then, uh, please go ahead and join his task. Yeah, I recruited one person who will hopefully be able to help as well, so. That's good. Uh, as for blockers, the only thing that's kind of a blocker is just the, the little Trello thing has been kind of frustrating. So it seems like whenever we want to add new people to like the vaccines and therapeutics Trello, I have to always ask Tina. Um, so and there's just some permissions. I think there, we've, I we found a solution to that. Not sure if it propagated back to you, but basically we can have a public link that people will be using to to join the Trello board, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So it should be solved. Is it a solution? Because the only way I was able to overcome that is just to get admin rights to be able to add people. Right. Yeah. Let Let's figure that out in, in Slack after the call. Yeah, All right. Sounds good. Sounds great. So I think we're getting some progress on the medical expert integration, both individually across uh, tasks, like you are doing amazing effort with the vaccines then, but also Steve and Natalie are working on formalizing some top to bottom structure for those processes and making it as efficient as possible. Um, so that's great. Next thing is current organizational challenges and resource needs. And obviously, like one of the things I've already mentioned, which is identifying these uh, bottlenecks and basically places where people are um, just have too much on their plate and they may not be realizing it because even I, like I'm overloaded, I'm extremely loaded with all kinds of different tasks. And like it, it takes me some extra mental effort to recognize that, you know, I can delegate some of them. And Mark has been super helpful at, you know, approaching me and being aggressive about it and just saying, hey, uh, let's take this off your plate. Like, how, how can we transform that? And basically, this is something that I also think is very powerful in our community in terms of us seeing the patterns of this overload and just being proactive and suggesting, hey, like, I see that you're overloaded here. I may not be the best person to help you with that. But let's, you know, uh, formulate that ask and just push it out to the community because we have so many people that are willing to help and they will definitely help. So I think that's one of the key things to figure out. And obviously there are lots of different structural uh, and process things that we're trying to figure out and didn't necessarily figure out yesterday, including Trello, uh, structure, main notebook stuff, uh, primarily like just because things are moving so fast that we're just catching up to it. There is a, a piece of the uh, technology stack that we've discussed today with Brandon in terms of how to make sure that anyone can take the data set that Brandon created and actually understands what that data set is, what is in there and what kind of uh, you know, problems can it help solve. So I've created a Trello card on the main Trello board which uh, kind of has uh, FAQ, frequently asked questions about what that data set is, how it's different from the main Kaggle data set, and how it can help you. And hopefully we can you know, improve that knowledge base and uh, basically expose the, all the amazing work that Brendan and NLP team are doing to all the people that are working on individual tasks. Does anyone else uh, have anything in terms of current organizational issues? Mark, maybe your perspective. Um, uh, yeah, let me just piggyback on what you said uh, to offer a an immediate solution um, to the idea of responsibilities as they grow exponentially. Uh, a key thing, um, trust, trust your priorities. There's a reason why it's a priority. So if it's a number one, two, and three, go for it. What you can do is um, maybe jump into the check-in channel, um, post it wherever you want, but I encourage you to do something radical, which is just say, hey, at here, I'm dropping this task. I can't focus on it. 
do that because, um, and if it's important to enough people, it'll get picked up. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Because what's more important is that you do an excellent job on your top priorities. Don't, not, don't be compromising them for sending an email just to check in with somebody or something like that. Um, one more just like general thing. This is um, inspired by Dan Sosa's comment. Um, uh, and also you're mentioning this, Archer. Um, uh, there's a need for sort of centralized NLP work. Um, and uh, and uh, I mentioned this because I was just talking to Daniel about doing it for Task Geo. He's got a subgroup that's doing this. We're looking at, it's, it's becoming critical at lots of different levels to extract specific phrases from the method section. Um, where are these participant samples coming from? From the results section is a personal interest of mine. You know, what is the raw numbers of the data, that sort of thing. So I think there's a shared effort that should be made between all these um, because I think a lot of time can be saved instead of doing it independently. So let's, um, let's converge in NLP tasks for that. Sounds great. And yeah, as, as you mentioned, it, it really is about being radical in terms of communication, being transparent being honest with yourself and all other people and just saying, Hey, like, I don't have time to work on this. Like, can someone take it from me? Or, Hey, like, this is obviously important, but maybe there is a person that has better skills to solve it. Like I've tried, here's my result. And just being radical about the communication and transparency. And, you know, this so far has been that major enabler of why it's working because we're cutting through all the bullshit. And we're just very upfront with what has to be done and you know how it should be done. Um, may I please um, share an issue that um, I'm uh, kind of facing? Uh, there are suddenly multiple Google Drive uh, um, uh, kind of uh, uh, folders. It's not clear what they are for. It's not clear why they're multiplying themselves. Uh, people are pinging me asking to add their documents and I have a very good structured document that is linked to trail and everything and it's kind of one task overlap another task and it kind of supposed to take a lot of time the purpose is not clear and also another suggestion is like if you refer to a certain task or whatever it is give a link at the moment nobody have a time to really go to the board and start looking for the task with this, with this exactly name and everything. It's, it's kind of impossible. So probably adding the link and um, cleaning up this uh, overlap of uh, various folders, which are not clear what they're for. Yeah, exactly. And it's all about, you know, uh, being mindful of every other person's time. And if you can bridge that, you know, gap between what you're talking and the understanding of the person, uh, be it a screenshot of another conversation, be it a log of another conversation, be it a task or a comment in that task, please share that to minimize the amount of time that person has to do to understand the, the issue or challenge that you're facing. I don't think, my hunch is that the Google Drive folder structure is only going to be efficient and a good structure if we combine it with uh, Trello, Slack, and, um, you know, basically Sheets, because GitHub. it, yeah, and GitHub. GitHub because, or Sheets. Yeah, because, you know, by itself, it's definitely not a structure to use, but it can be a helpful uh, piece in the overall picture. So just a few points to add here. Like, I definitely agree that we have too many of the, like, Google documents floating around. But this is, again, it's a natural consequence of the approach we took from the beginning, essentially. People who could try to do something, right, go for it. Create a Google Doc, create a Google Drive, and go for it. And we essentially, all of the results we got so far is the result of those actions. I think it's right now, this week, it's a perfect time to kind of consolidate all of this. We already got enough critical information. What works, what doesn't work, right? So... I think it's just a question of pruning. It will take, I don't know, half a week to actually nail all down. And then we're in a really good spot with the yeah, best tools available out there. On my end, I, in terms of GitHub, uh, I started creating like a so-called awesome list, just like a format of kind of consolidating the list of resources. If you would like to contribute, it's just growing right now. 
And I'm also kind of pushing everything technical from all of those disjoint Google Docs, spreadsheet, et cetera, on, on the one roof. So uh, I need collaborators in, in those efforts. So for everything technical, please reach out to me and we'll do that. Sounds great. So I think it's a good point to open up Q&A for any of the... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. You're cutting off very badly. Uh, we can't really... We can't really hear you. Yeah, just go ahead, post in Slack or chat. Um, so it's a good time to open up to Q&A to any of the people who have questions or can suggest any of the things to us in terms of organization. If you have ideas or just general questions, if you're new and confused, just speak up. This is the five minute time frame for you. Um, can I speak? Sure, go ahead. Um, uh, okay, uh, can I suggest the for you? Uh, if we have uh, one sheet uh, included uh, the link of uh, data set uh, the tasks uh, and the links of group uh, to be more organized. Uh, now I uh, I feel uh, there are more links, uh, so I can uh, so I can uh, reach uh, all these things. Uh, okay. I think what you're saying is for us to send you the link to the uh, group of all files. Uh, yeah, I uh, I would like to. Uh, okay, uh, we'll, we'll get that time. to you. If if we won't send it to you, just ping me or Mark or anyone in in general channel. Okay, thanks. Sounds good. Anyone else? Yes, I have a general question. So again, going back to this point that we have too many resources all over the place, right? And now we, at the results of it, we got this task specific Trello boards are amazing, right? Our global Trello board is still a mess kind of, right? The same thing kind of happens with other efforts, all of the code base that can get merged into specific GitHub repos, etc. So the question is, we need to come up with the idea how we prune the unnecessary things that kind of we tried and now the results of that work get merged into something because right now essentially the relevancy of that document and the other document is under question. My proposal, like one of the proposal I have is everybody who was working on some document of shared documents like that, like please go back, revisit them and see if that work is already kind of incorporate somewhere in some format and then just discard the document, you know, mark that it's kind of, you know, obsolete or something that will be much easier to navigate because the way I'm kind of consolidating everything essentially you do like depth first search for the whole tree of links. And then you kind of see that some of them are circle at this point. So it's kind of hard to see what is relevant, what is not. Something was published on the Google Collab platform, but then it's hard to tell, is it already on repo or not? So if everybody who contributed anything will just simply mark something as obsolete that it was already merged in this central repos or Trello card, et cetera, there'll be a great help to kind of help everybody to navigate the space. I have a problem with the structure of the main dashboard. Today, it took me like 40 minutes to understand what's going on. And if you are not involved, if you are like focused on your own task and you are not involved in some kind of a common com uh, activities, it's impossible. Yeah, you, impossible. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, let's, let's try to figure that out today. Maybe I'll take some time with Mark and Daniel and maybe Steve. And hopefully you guys can serve as that validation. Like, does, does it make sense now uh, on the call tomorrow? Yeah, I think like it's this main Trello board is what creates the main confusion for everybody. So I we agree. need to find a way how to kind of ditch it. And just to simply guide people into subtask sure. or generic, for example, like all of the ML generic questions, I'm trying to merge the cards into ML pipeline, but then I run into issues adding people from that board with you know the mm -hmm. trail issue. Here's, Again, it just kind of here's my idea. The board. Yeah, here's my idea. 
we, uh, my hunch is that we need to ditch this main board and move the organizational stuff into our internal admin board. Yes. And this one will be kept for kind of, here's a visual guide how, where to go. Here is the basic list of resources that you may need. And that's it. There are no to-do tasks or tasks that are done, no work in progress, just the, the central uh, kind of the entrance into our community. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's try to accomplish that today, Mark. Yeah. Sounds sure. Good. And I'm also going to tap communications uh, just as a heads up. I'm going to do this until it's not interesting for me. And I'm going to go to communications and say I'm dropping this ball just as a proof of concept. <laughs> sounds great. Okay. All right. Sounds good, guys. Thank you so much for joining today. It, again, progress is just amazing day by day. Had another interview today with another Pass Out Lab. Uh, things are moving. Uh, yeah, stay healthy, be energized, and please don't burn out. Have enough sleep because we need you in the long term. Get some sleep, Arthur. <laughs> true, true. Thank you. Right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.